In this video, I'm talking about the emotional impact of untreated hearing loss and why it's the number one reason why most individuals with hearing loss choose to treat it. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. I talk a lot about hearing loss in the context of you not being able to communicate effectively because auditory information is not able to make it from your ears up to your brain and that this is often a result of anatomical and physiological changes inside of your cochlea, which is your hearing organ. Furthermore, I often talk about the technical aspects of treating your hearing loss with hearing aids or cochlear implants in order to overcome this communication difficulty. However, I almost never talk about the emotional impact of untreated hearing loss, but that is exactly what I want to talk about inside of this video because it is arguably even more important. I want you to think back to a time when you were in a conversation with someone, but you didn't exactly hear or understand what they said. What did you do? Did you ask them to repeat? Did you nod your head in agreement? Did you actually tell them, oh, that's nice, only to be met with a look of confusion because you obviously didn't hear what they said? Let me share a quick story with you. A patient once told me that he and his wife sat down with his daughter and his daughter's longtime boyfriend. And in that conversation, she had mentioned that they were considering marriage. So my patient got up and was all excited and said, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. But, she didn't actually say considering marriage. She actually said that they had a miscarriage. So you can imagine that the emotions that went through the family, the daughter started crying immediately, the mother was mortified and basically mad at him, and he was extremely embarrassed. And it wasn't much longer after that that he called my clinic to come in for a hearing evaluation. Now you might be thinking, well, that's an honest mistake, and he obviously cleared it up but that doesn't change the fact that people were negatively emotionally impacted by his inability to hear and understand what they were saying. And at that point, he realized that his hearing loss was not all about him, but it was emotionally affecting other people around him. You see, hearing loss is not the problem. The problem is the negative emotional responses that occur when poor communication exists due to untreated hearing loss. This patient did not use logic when determining whether or not to treat his hearing loss. This is because humans do not use logic when making decisions. Humans use emotion when making decisions. And there are a lot of negative emotions associated with untreated hearing loss, and some of them include anxiety, depression, guilt, anger, frustration, sadness, shame, doubt, fear, annoyance, and regret. And these are only a few of the more common ones. The vast majority of individuals with hearing loss do not treat their hearing loss because they want to hear better. The vast majority of individuals who treat their hearing loss choose to do so to eliminate these negative emotions associated with not being able to communicate effectively. This is why as a hearing care professional, taking the time to actually understand a patient's negative emotional responses to communication difficulty and having empathy are so critical. In fact, one of the reasons that I believe in person-centered care so much is because it requires a hearing care professional to look past the audiogram and actually understand a patient's concerns on a deeper level. Now, if you don't know what person-centered care is, then I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will link in the description because it will completely change your perspective on what excellent hearing care is. The best hearing care professionals out there are the ones who spend the time to identify the negative emotions surrounding a patient's hearing loss and communicating effectively with that patient to help them understand that treating their hearing loss can get rid of these negative emotions and replace them with positive ones. A question that I receive all the time is how do I convince my family member to treat their hearing loss with hearing aids because their hearing loss is having a huge emotional toll on the entire family. What I tell them is that it is not their job to convince their family member to get hearing aids. It's their job to encourage them to get a hearing evaluation. It is the job of the hearing care professional to help that individual understand the ramifications of their untreated hearing loss, not just on themselves, but on their entire family. 
An excellent hearing care professional who's trained in person-centered care can also identify the negative emotions that family members have and use this information to help a patient understand that even though their hearing loss may not have a damaging emotional effect on themselves, it is having a massively damaging effect on their family. If this is done with the proper amount of empathy, a large percentage of these individuals will ultimately elect to treat their hearing loss not because they want to or because they feel they have a huge negative emotional impact to their own hearing loss, but because they now understand that their hearing loss not only affects them, it affects everyone around them. This is why I always say, if you have a friend or family member who is in complete denial that they have a hearing loss, you had better make sure that you encourage them to see a hearing care professional who is trained in person-centered care, otherwise you have virtually no chance of them ever treating their hearing loss. At the end of the day, what is the point of this video? The point of this video is to help you understand that we do not make the decision to treat our hearing loss based on logic. We choose to treat our hearing loss based on emotion, and more specifically, the negative emotions that arise when we cannot effectively communicate with others. So if you or someone you know is being emotionally impacted by the inability to effectively communicate due to a hearing loss, I highly recommend you seek out a hearing care professional who follows a person-centered care approach to not get hearing aids, but to get a hearing evaluation. If you would like help finding a hearing care provider who's been professionally trained in person-centered care and who understands the emotional side of hearing loss, then make sure you look for the Inspired by Ida badge that you can find on most clinic websites and other provider listing websites. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.